Personally for me, I think the 800 series has the most pressure on it because it's our flagship. We've already got a loudspeaker range that already epitomizes kind of performance and beautiful design in its space. So it's almost like you're staring at a mounting at the start of these projects, just wondering how are you going to get to the top and how are you going to make something that's even better than you already have. It's very high standard to start with. It's quite hard to go a little step further, but it's very exciting, especially when you see the result at the end and you can actually start to enjoy what you've done as a team. When you get that magical moment when you get it right and the rest of the team will agree with you, that's, that's, that's awesome. With most products somewhere along the line, you've got to be thinking about things like retail price or timelines or whatever else. And the thing that's remarkable with an 800 series diamond is a lot of those issues go away. So you start with those little inklings of how do we think we could nudge this ball forward and then you start exploring. It's really based on the listening experience, so try to identify pointers where you think you can bring improvement. You can try a lot of clever things that takes a long time, or you might have an idea and you can take five minutes and you try it out and you can hear the difference. Certainly from my point of view, we concentrate on the driver technology first to get that right. We're able to qualify that, then we start working on what we're going to do with the new cabinet constructions, how we're going to incorporate new technologies into that. So one of our real priorities for the fourth series of the 800 series was to be able to bring 805 and 804 into the reverse wrap that we were able to do for the headed products in the last series. So we now have a curving front baffle, which is a much prouder expression of the technology and the heritage within 800 series. But it also brings us great acoustic benefits as well. We reduce the baffling, which means we get much, much improved sound stages. We improve the stiffness of the cabinet, which you'll hear a massive improvement in the bass performance of 805 and 804. We have the double copper and double silver mid-range motors which greatly improves the current distortion and we are able to have an even lower noise floor in the drive unit itself. We've incorporated a certain type of steel for the LF motors that's also reducing the current distortion uh, in, down into the LF region as well. The HF, we have increased the acoustic volume that the driver fires into, hugely changing the uh, resonant frequency of that, of that driver. That being lower makes the the harmonic distortion a lot lower down in frequency as well. We've reduced the compression that happens behind the dome by removing one of the magnets. We've re-optimised the motor system to do that and that's also helping the, uh, the driver to breathe more freely. Gives you more. On the uh, new motors for the MF, we have a copper cap we regularly use. We decided to just go for um, more premium silver options. On paper, it's really hard to tell how much difference it's going to make. Well, and if you just try it out and you can see that it makes a massive difference. We listen to it in this room for the first time. Suddenly just everything sounds more detailed, more open. Everything is, is bigger, it sounds clearer, cleaner. The first model I actually got to hear was the 805. That relatively small speaker can still portray this amazingly vivid image. Put you so far into this um, musical performance. It's quite a remarkable change from the previous, the previous series. It's hard to pinpoint one technology that makes it better. It's, it's all of them combined. It's the clearest loudspeakers I've ever heard in my life. The best thing that I'd ever heard was an 800 D3 until I heard an 801 D4. You're able to hear the fine detail all the way around your head now. You're hearing a piece of music that you genuinely new and suddenly there's another layer or suddenly there's something else within it that's unearthed. Once you're in this room with a setup like that, it's just an experience in itself. The speakers, as big as they are, kind of go away. And what you hear is the performers or the performance in the room. You can play rock music, you can play classical pieces or anything like that. It goes really low, really clean. You get the impact, you get everything. Uh, it wipes the floor with the old one. We were very excited 